Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about uh, the U.S. stock market and uh, how it's been down, most of them recently, and how uh, I'm, I'm going to buy it, them when they're down because that's when it goes back up again. And here for an example, uh, this is when the war happened and it went down and then also went back up uh, about 11%. Uh, and then this is when the financial, uh, each, uh, stock market has to put their, uh, financial rates in, and also because of the U.S., uh, bank stock market, they're gonna decrease it. So this is why it's been, uh, down, and we can see, uh, it's been down about, uh, 11, or almost 11%, but this is also when you want to or I want to, I'm going to buy it because, for example, here, as what Buffett said, uh, you can, uh, like, when people are fear, feared of it, uh, you become out, and when, uh, so, for example, right here, uh, this is, if, uh, you bought it here, uh, it would go up, and around this time period, people realize that, uh, uh, it's going up, so a lot of people buy, and up here you can, uh, sell it around because it goes back down, and this also happens to, uh, Amazon, uh, uh, Google, uh, and QQQ, so here we can also see March 14th, the same day, here, we can see the same day, March 14th, uh, it had, uh, gone down because of the war, uh, and then also up to, I would say here's the peak. So this is March 29th. We're going to look here. March 29th here. So they're all pretty much, uh, not the exact same, but uh, you can see pretty much uh, almost the same. And this one had gained 16%. And around here again with the financial uh, rates that each company has to do and the uh, financial bank and how they've decreased it. We can see the 29th here about, I would say. Uh, same with here, the 29th. And this is, this one had gone down 15%. So you can see the, uh, each one of them are pretty close. And I like to buy them when it's down uh, from a range of 10 to 15. So, we're going to also look at Amazon here. Uh, Amazon is a little more stable, but we can also see uh, the 14th here. It went down. Not a lot. And then, the peak is around, I would say, yeah, right here is the peak. Just like our other two that we just looked at. And then, right here again, we can see... Uh, so let's take a look. It's 14 to the 29th. It went, Amazon went up, uh, 19%. And, uh, also, uh, gone down 26%. So that is pretty big. Uh, but once again, you can, uh, really see how this really affects it. It makes a big difference. Um, uh, let's take a look at Google here. For March 14th, you can see it went down. And then the smarter people would uh, buy it around here. And most people realize around here that it's going to go up. So a lot of people buy it. Goes up, goes up, and then it starts dropping again. So it's really, uh, I think this is really smart to buy here. And the 29 is right here. But this is, uh, for Google, it is a little bit different because the peak for Google is the fourth. It's a little bit different, but pretty much the same. Had gone up 13%. Um, we can look here. The 29th of here is when it was the lowest, and it starts going up again, like what we saw right here and, and all of our other examples. So we can see that the peak is up here, and the lowest is down there. And it went down about 20%. So now we're going to be taking a look at BRKB. We can see this is a little bit different in the past uh, 
We've been looking at six months this whole time, by the way. So, we're going to look at March 14th. Uh, you can see it's actually been going up a lot. So, we're going to look at the peak right here. Uh, I would say the 28th. So, it's obviously uh, been going up and been stable still. While the U.S. market has been uh, down 20%. Uh, so... It's gone, it's starting to go down, we see that, but, uh, this is also when I'm gonna buy it, because we can see it's, uh, 11%, and I like to buy them from 10 to 15%, uh, and then, but yeah, I think it's a really good idea to buy them, and also to limit the prices, so we're gonna take a look at here, uh, this is limiting, the prices and last time I bought it at uh, 313 and uh, I'm actually gonna put it again to 313 and limit it so this is just example just pretend that's 313 so uh, right here stocks accounts BRKB is what I'm getting uh, and then we're also gonna take a look at uh, this is the price as of uh, now, but I really do think it can go, uh, I'm going to get nine shares, buy, uh, shares, and then limit. Limit's really useful. Uh, if you look at my last video, I talk about, uh, more stuff in my stocks, about, uh, March and how, uh, about limiting, I think. But, then you can put your limit price right here, and, uh, I'm going to change that to, uh, 13, so that'd be 313 uh and then day and then you can see the estimated value and stuff you can also see your available cash up here and stuff but overall that's all i uh really wanted to talk about today uh and i think it's really a smart move to go uh when other people fear you can uh don't fear and step up kind of and buy so you can see it goes up and that's the same thing in all of these right here all of them are the same you can see around the same period and they all go up but yeah uh except for brkb it's been going up a lot so that's why i really like it too uh, and last time i bought it around march March 13th. Mm hmm Yep. Because, uh, yeah. But overall, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So, um, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment down your, uh, opinions uh make sure to subscribe like uh and you can comment down your opinions about this what you think and i'm not an expert this is my opinion and what i think is really good and also the words from buffett himself but anyways thank you for watching subscribe like comment your opinions goodbye